Hey guys, welcome to Tactrix Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about Monday.com tutorial for beginners. So this will focus on inventory management. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Monday.com is a versatile work operating system that provides team with a visual and collaborative platform to manage various tasks, projects, and processes. It offers customizable boards, columns, and automation features that enable teams to streamline their workflows, automate repetitive tasks, and enhance communication. Inventory management, on the other hand, is the process of overseeing and controlling a company's stock good to ensure efficient operation. So the connection between inventory management and Monday.com is profound. Businesses can use Monday.com's platform to create dedicated inventory management boards. These boards can have groups representing different product categories. And each group can contain columns that store crucial inventory data like item names, quantities, price, suppliers, delivery dates, and more. By using Monday.com for inventory management, companies can centralize their inventory data, collaborate effectively, and automate key processes leading to improve accuracy, reduce manual errors, better decision-making, and overall enhance control over their inventory. If you don't have a Monday.com account yet, so just simply click onto this Get Started button so that you can easily sign up using your email. So once you've clicked that button, you'll be redirected to the sign up page where it gives you the option to continue with Google or add in your email and then just click on to continue. So you could also see the terms of services and privacy policy in here. But if you have an account already, just simply click on to log in and then you'll be greeted with Monday.com's dashboard. So actually here in your dashboard, you'll be redirected onto your main workspace. Monday.com workspace is like a digital hub where teams come together to manage their work and projects in one place. So it's a bit like a virtual office where everyone can see what needs to be done, who's responsible for each task and when things are due. Now let's add an inventory management board into your workspace. So to do this, just simply click on the add in the top left corner, then select new board. So you can create different boards for different tasks or projects. So sort of like using different notebooks for different subjects. Each board has columns where you can put information like to-do lists, dates, files, and more. It is super flexible, so you can set it up just the way your team needs. So you can name your board in here. So let's call it inventory management. And then you can also add in some description. So we could change the privacy to main, private, or shareable. And you can also select what you're managing this board. So you can see the home, campaigns, creative budget, leads, clients, employees, project, and tools. So you can just click on create board to continue. So as you can see, this is what our inventory would look like. So each board is divided into groups and columns. Groups can represent categories and columns store specific information about your items. So we can always update the group names in here or title. So for this inventory management, let's add in electronics in here. And here onto this other groups, let's add in clothing. Now to add more groups in here, just simply click onto this button in here. And we can also rename this one. So let's try to add foods in here. So updating the group name and inventory management is really important because it helps in keeping your inventory organized and easy to navigate. So this will represent a category or type of products, and by keeping it accurate and clear, you ensure that team members quickly understand what's stored in that group. Now let's go over through each items. So this refers to the individual products or goods that your business holds in stock. Each item has its own row in the inventory board containing important details like the product name, quantity, price, supplier, and other relevant information. So this row will act like digital cards that holds all the key data about each item, making it easy to track and manage your inventory. So you can actually select each item onto its left side and you'll have the option to duplicate, export, archive, delete, convert, and move this. So let's try to move this to another group. So let's move this one to clothing. So as you can see, it has already moved to another group. So once you select it, you'll also see different information or you can add in an update in here. So we can add in here that this one or this item is already delivered. So you have different tools here onto the upper part and you can add in some elements, just files, GIF, emoji, and you can also mention someone. So just simply click on to update and then your team members can see it. They can also like or react to the update or they can add in a reply. So they can add in here that they will note that one 
and then just simply click on to reply and you can also add files, JF, emoji and mention in here. So you can also see who viewed this update already since there is a scene button on to the right side. So you can add in more files as well in here. Just simply click on files onto the upper part and you can see the activity log or the updates that are made onto this specific item. Now let's try to update this item name. So from item 2, let's change this one to electric stove. So just simply type in electric stove in here right after clicking. And you can also assign someone for this specific item. So you could also change the status. So, so we can put in here that it's still stuck. And you can also update the date in here. So just simply click onto those things and you can simply update those. So you can always update the other items details as well. So just repeat the process so that you would be able to add in all of the information that those items need. Now let's try to add in another column into your group. So just simply click onto this add button in here and you'd be able to see the different essential items that are needed to be added. As you can see, you can add in a status, text, people, drop down, date, numbers, and also there are other super useful items like files, connected boards, money, doc, timeline, formula, checkbox, priority, and label. So just click onto one that you want to add. So for this example, let's add in a drop down. You can add in a label for your drop down in here. Just simply click onto it and create a new label. So let's add another one. Let's click onto this and type in number two. So you can also see other group settings in here. Just click onto the three horizontal lines. You can see that you can collapse a group, collapse all groups, select items, add a group, duplicate the group. So let's try this one out. Just simply click onto this duplicate items or duplicate items and update. So as you can see, it is already duplicating the group and you can see that there is already a duplicate of clothing group. Now you can also delete the group by just simply clicking onto the three horizontal lines. Then onto the bottom part, there is delete and just click on delete again. You can also change its group color. Just simply click onto the three horizontal lines again and then you can see the group color in here. So simply click onto the side and then you can choose the color that you want for this specific group. As you can see, we change it to green. And here onto the upper part, there is actually a search button in here. So you can search in different items in here. Let's try to search for fruits. As you can see, you can easily find the item by utilizing this feature. You can also filter by person. Also, you can hide other columns. So as you can see, all of it is checked. So you can see all of them. So if you simply unselect it and just select the box that you want to see. So as you can see, it is more organized and more simple. So you can also pin columns, item height, conditional coloring, and item default values. So you can also integrate this with other apps. You have the integrate button in here and also you can automate this one. So just simply click onto this button if you want to delve more into those features. And right in here is the invite. So collaboration is easy on Monday.com. Just click onto that button and you can invite team members to join your board by clicking share and entering their email addresses. This way everyone stays on the same page. And there you have it. You've completed the Monday.com inventory management tutorial. Thank you very much for joining us today and if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe for more informative content. And until next time, see you on our next video.